Live. You're here with me, Phil Hotchkiss, at 1619 Studios uh, for the very first in a, a series, a new series, called Songwriter, where we interview uh, songwriters uh, from the locality here at 1619 Studios. And on the very first edition, I'm joined by Liverpool musician Mike Badger. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? I'm very good, thanks. Good to speak to you. Yeah, it's great to see you. So you've got a new single coming out called uh, Beating a Path to Your Door, which is out this coming Friday. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how you started with that song and uh, just basically what you're doing musically at the moment? Well, with that one, um, I do a lot of walking up, up in the um, uplands in Conway, you know, where I live now. I'm from Liverpool, but I moved over here about six years ago. And, um, and I just kind of wrote the song while I was walking, Beating a Path to Your Door, you know, and it's like, uh, it's about... It's about, it's like a love song, but it's a little bit um, obsessive. And so it's like, you know, it's not too healthy, really, the uh, obsession which this man's got in getting to this lady in the theme of the song. But uh, that's right. what it's about, you know. So. Is it a little bit stalkerish then? It, it's edging into that territory. And it's, uh, so it's not as wholesome as uh, your normal love song, you know, yeah. yeah. But that's the edge. So the whole beat of the path to your door, the, the rhythm that you had on your. Um, on your box there that you were, you were kicking is there's a sinister edge to it i'm afraid so there is actually in that track yeah but it's you know it's just uh, mirroring what happens in life you know people okay. people uh, getting obsessive about things you know yeah is it a particular door the door of his the love of his life and she, you know he he might not be the love of her life anymore <laughs> but she's still the love of his life beating the path to your door So um, musically, what what else are you up to? Well, I've um, I've been recording some new songs with my son Ray Badger, who's at Lipper, and um, he, he he gets me. He understands my kind of lo-fi mentality, you know, um, born of necessity rather than choice, I suppose. <laughs> but it is what it is, and it's what I've always done. I'm uh, quite productive. I write quite a lot, and um, I like to get it down move on to the next one you know right. uh, I don't like, like to be too precious over the recording process I like it to be have energy and dynamism and then you know move on to uh, to the next song so in that sense are they are they kind of rough diamonds you, you kind of like to get them recorded you don't polish them too much and then you move on to the next one would that be fair uh, diamonds in the coal yeah <laughs> <laughs> I okay. hope so um, so what other musical plans have you got coming up after the single well, um, I've got some gigs on the horizon, nothing confirmed yet. I've just played a few um, to do with the with the single coming out and um, just keeping on doing what I always do, which is being creative and um, uh, moving forward. And um, I've... 
got a, a playing with a um, a singer artist called Young Chen Lamo, who's coming over from New York later in the year, We're playing the um, Winter Sounds Festival in Conway, which is going to be a fantastic festival. And uh, so I've got her coming over from New York, and she's totally amazing out, out, out this world. Nothing like what I do, <laughs> but uh, pretty cosmic. Mm-hmm. So you've got her coming over from New York, and and you say you do a lot yourself, and you've got your son uh, with you as well. Um, are you are you very much a one man band then, or do you do you like to collaborate, or do you kind of like to keep it to yourself? How does it work the songwriting process for you? Well, before I moved to Wales, I had a band uh, for ten years called Mike Badger and the Shady Trio, and um, we played all over the country and in America and stuff and but it was hard enough keeping the band together in Liverpool let alone when I moved over here you know (laughs) even though they were absolutely the best musicians I could have asked for Mm -hmm. um so um I'm meeting new people over here now I'm getting back into it after the lockdown and everybody's had a a, you know a forced uh stay of execution haven't we you know so we're so we're now kind of reasserting ourselves and and you know reconfiguring really mm-hmm. what that was all about and hopefully um getting our uh, creative heads back on yeah did, did you write during lockdown then have you got like a batch of songs now that you've been waiting to get out there from from that period well, I, I tend to write when there's a when there's a reason to write. I don't really write all the time. I, I I've, I've done that in the past over years, you know, from different bands I've been in. But now I only write when I'm really inspired or something really triggers me. And if I've got a reason to record it, if I've got a reason to play it live, if I've got a reason to release it, that's what triggers me. Otherwise, I'm doing my artwork, I'm doing my sculpture. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, we've still got the Viper label in Liverpool, which ticks over. And, um, you know, I work on other projects with people. I've just made a horror film during the uh, lockdown with, with my son Ray and his girlfriend, which um, I'm really looking forward to um, uh, debuting in Liverpool in the autumn. I'm a wolf man. He's a wolf man. Keep out of the dark, stay in the light Cause he's gonna get you if he can He's a wolf man, he's a wolf man He's a wolf man, he's a wolf man You can see him slip through the old moonshine He's half man and half lupine Look out for the shadow where he stands He's a wolf man, he's a wolf man He's a wolf man, he's a wolf man Sharp claws upon his hand. He's a wolf man. He's a wolf man. He's a wolf man. He's a wolf man. You better look out when the full moon rises. He's looking for you with his blood red eyes. Now here's something you better understand. He's a wolf man. He's a wolf man. He's a wolf man. He's a wolf man. So you've got a, a whole host of quite different creative projects then. Do they all kind of bleed into each other or influence each other to keep you going? As you say, you were talking about um, keeping going and keeping creative. So I'm supposing there's um, there's never a time where you feel you've exhausted all your creative avenues because you've always got something different on the horizon. Would that be fair? 
Well, yeah, and and the world's a very inspiring place, you know, if you allow it to be. If you if you just want to, you know, sit back and do nothing, that's cool. But I've never been like that. I've always tended to. Um, it's just in me to create, you know. I'm, I, I am a creative person, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I, I'm um, sometimes things happen because of it, and sometimes they don't. Mm-hmm. But I'd, if I've got a philosophy, it's to do, and I tend to be proactive and to do things because uh, that's what it is. That's what that's what an artist is. An artist, anybody can talk about it, yeah. but at the end of the day, the like the proof of the pie is in the eating. And if you don't produce something, well, you're not an artist, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's, that's very interesting. I'll take that with me because it's uh, no, it's a great philosophy. If if you call yourself an artist, then kind of prove it, I guess. Yeah, and when you um, do something, it's as simple as that to do. To, when you do something, there's a very small chance something might happen from that. Mm-hmm. But if you don't do anything, there's an absolute guarantee that nothing's going to happen. Yeah. So, and, and yeah. that's basically what I've learned over the years, yeah. you know. So you kind of having that philosophy, which is is great. Presumably, then means produce something, even if you don't know what the outcome's going to be, or whether people are going to like it, or whether people are going to respond to it. At that point, that doesn't matter. Just produce and then see what happens, yeah? Yeah, well, obviously, it's really great when people dig what you do, yeah. right? I mean, that, that's great, but it's not a prerequisite. It's not really why you do it. You know, if you want to make everybody happy, you want to ask yourself why, you know. Yeah. You know, it, the fact is some people are going to think it's great and some people are just not going to get it. And, yeah. and that's it. And you, that's what you live with as an artist. You know, you stand alone with it and... Um, you know, you live by it and you die by it. So, would you say then, in that in that case, the uh, the overriding motivation for you as an artist is to do what you like? Yeah, and to do what inspires me, from and where it comes from here. You know, yeah. from from my heart, and um, you know, and at the end of the day, when we when we all go toes up, which we eventually will, all we have left is what we created whilst we were here. Yeah. And um, and so it's 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 our sense of duty to make it worthy, or as worthy as we can, you know. Yeah. And we don't we don't always hit the target. Sometimes we're wide of the mark, you know. But um, you know, I'd rather be doing this than other stuff. You know, <laughs> working in a factory, thank God, you know, or you know, not yeah. about that, you know. But yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So as a songwriter, then, um, and this is a tough question, and most people can't answer it um because it's it's kind of like asking you who's your favorite child if you have more than one child but um what what, what process what song um uh, what thing that you've created would you say you're most proud of oh i've got i've got a lot of things to be proud of i'm very grateful whether people have got to know about them or not you know mm-hmm. um sometimes the things that i'm most proud of are the ones that nobody's got to hear because mm-hmm. it's just that's been the way the wheels are turned you know mm-hmm. but um you know uh the fact that i'm still doing it that's what i'm proud of because you know if you're doing this you're successful everything else comes in the wake of that yeah. but if you're doing it you're successful doesn't matter if you're you know the biggest things in sliced bread or if you're just doing it in your bedroom for yourself yeah. you're successful shoot me in the head if i ever become one of them i shoot me in the head if i ever become one of them a self-serving individual who's taken everything that he can someone who quantifies who they are by all the things that they own I know the gun myself, it's just not good for your health when your heart is made of solid stone. Shoot me in the head if I ever become one of them. A man of power with a face so sour, taking everything that he can. A shirt and tie, a sly look in his eye with a perfected way to condescend. Oh, you better believe I don't deserve the air breathe, so you better put it to an end. Don't feel bad when I'm laying dead, I'm making a mess on the floor. You know I had it coming, so don't start running, just surprised it never happened before. And when you get arrested and you're standing in the dark, the judge he's gonna understand. He'll just turn around and say, it's just better that way, yeah? You did it at his own command. You did it at his own command. Shoot me in the head if I ever become one of them. Self-serving individual who's taking everything that he can. 
A man of power with a face so sour, a perfected way to condescend. Oh, you better believe I don't deserve the air I breathe, so you better put it to an end. And just to make sure when I'm laying on the floor, you better shoot me once again. Brilliant. Well, Mike, thanks very much. That was uh, that's great, actually. It's really uh, very philosophical and very interesting uh, for me and for everyone else watching and listening, I'm quite sure. So um, thanks very much for your time today. Best of luck with the single. The single is called Beating a Path to Your Door. And uh, where can people find it? On every single streaming channel available. Okay. And there is a, another uh, promo video to go with it, isn't there? There is, yeah. Shot by the wonderful Mark McNulty and uh, with production by Ray Badger. Okay, and um, is there an album coming out as well, or eventually there w there will be? Yeah, there'll be an album when it's um, when it's ready. <laughs> okay. If you keep an eye on on my website and my Facebook and stuff like that, you'll um, you'll see what I'm up to. So okay, just Mike Badger. Just search for your name and we'll find you. Okay, well thanks very much, Mike. Pleasure to meet you, and uh, thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much indeed. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>